For today's session, I will be discussing to you check up user actives, quarter three, week one to three of computer system servicing. So how are we going to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network operating system? So to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network operating system, what we need to do now is to first to go to the network and sharing center. So if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 10, you can go to the Start button. But if you are using Windows 8, you can position the mouse pointer at the right panel of the screen under Search Type Network and Sharing Center. Or you can use or you can click the Network and Sharing Center button or icon on your notification area. Then click Network and Sharing Center, click Change Adapter Settings, then right-click Ethernet. If in case that you will not be able to see an Ethernet driver or a LAN driver to network connection dialog box, what you need to do is to install or fix first your LAN driver through device management. And after that, go to Properties. Under Ethernet Properties, make sure that there is a check mark before the client for Microsoft Networks, QX Packet Scheduler, File and Printer Sharing for Microsoft Networks. This is, the, this is the reason why a certain computer can still print even though the printer is not attached to that particular computer, provided that that computer is networked to those computers who is connected to one another. Then go to Internet Protocol version 4, click Properties, click Use the following IP address, Let's say, for example, you have four computers that you're going to network. The IP address should be 192.168.1.1 for that is the first computer that you're going to set up a network operating system under peer-to-peer. -peer. Then just please retain the subnet math, which is 255.255.255.0. Now you can type the default gateway 192.168.1.1 for the four computers if you are using a router or raceways and other devices that will serve as a bridge for those computers. Then click OK, then restart the computer. Again, let's say for example you would like to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network operating system for your computer number two. So this is the second computer that will be connected. Just repeat the steps or the procedure. Make sure that there is a check mark for those three commands, then click Properties, use the following IP address, so it should be 192.168.1, this time that 2, since that is the second computer that will be configured. Then retain the subnet mask, if you would like to use again, or if you're going to use a raceway, a router, a bridge, or a hub, then you can type a default gateway. But if you're just going to use a LAN cable, which will be connected to one another, then just please remove, or you can remove the default gateway. Then click OK. Click OK, then restart the computer to take an effect of those changes that has been made to your computer. So if there will be four computers, you just have to do the same procedure. You just have to change the last numerical value of that particular part of the IP address. Then, after that, you need to configure now the computer name of the computer. So how are we going to configure the computer name of the computer? You go to the File Explorer. Again, if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 10, you can go to the Start button. Or you can search My Computer. Then on an empty area, right-click, click Properties. Then click Remote Settings. So that is under the System dialog box. You will now be able to see a computer name, a hardware, advanced, and remote tab under the computer properties. So basically, after clicking properties, you have to choose now the remote settings. Now you're going to give a name for that particular computer. So just click the change command button. Think of a unique name for that computer. So example, CSS, then 9, since that is intended for computer servicing system grade 9. 
Now, please take note of the following. If you're going to type or enter a description or a computer name, avoid using spaces and special characters. So, there should be no spaces. Then click OK. The next thing that you need to do now after assigning a name for that particular computer is to assign or to assign a computer description name for those computers which will be connected to one another. For example, you have two or three computers. What will be the name of those three computers? So think of a name, then click apply, click close. An alert message will come on your screen where in the computer should be restarted. So you can restart the computer to take an effect. That is for computer number one. Then just do the same procedure for your computer number two. So if I use under the computer name CSS9, then think of another name for that second computer. Example, CSS9B. Now, regardless of the version of the computer that you're going to use, since the same procedure should be applied when sharing the printer or the computer. So what you need to do now is to search or to go to the start button, then even go to the search bar. So then you have to open again the network and sharing center. Or you can right click the network and sharing button or icon to your notification area. Click change advanced sharing and their private. So we have their private, guest, or public, then public, or all networks. Make sure that you're going to turn on the network discovery so that that particular computer can be seen to the other computers which is connected to that particular computer. Turn on network discovery, then turn on file printer sharing. What is the purpose of turning on the file printer and sharing? So that you can still print even though the printer is not connected to that particular computer. Then go to guest or public. Again, turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. And all networks, turn on sharing. So you can see there so that anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folder. So you can save and you can open a certain file to the other computers which is connected to your computer. Just make sure of the following or just make sure of this one. If you're going to turn on the sharing on your own network, you should turn off the password. For if that will be turned on, the computer which is connected to you will be asking you to enter a password before you can access those files that is being kept or saved to that particular computer. So those are the basic steps on how are you going to turn on file sharing. Now we're done changing already the computer name, configuring the IP address, and turning on basic file sharing. The next thing that we're going to do now is to share a specific folder. Example, you would like to share a specific folder for that particular computer. What you need to do now is to open the folder that you would like to share. So either you can go to the File Explorer, you can search for that particular folder, so right click, example data E, my files, I would like to share that folder, right click my files, click properties, then click the sharing tab, under the sharing tab, click share, now click the drop down button, then choose everyone. So we can say all computers will be connected to that computer you can see now those files. Then choose read and write under administrator for the permission level. Then click share. So just wait for that particular moment that it will be configured. Then click change settings to see those changes that has been made for that particular computer. Then click done. So, see, you can see now that that file has been shared already. Then click advanced sharing. 
think of a name, if there will be a name, if you would like to modify the name, you can click Add, you can search for that particular computer, then click the Permissions button, make sure that all the check mark under Allow, or under Allow column, full control, change and read, should be enabled. So, check, put a check mark on that particular permissions for administrators. Then click OK, click OK, you may click Apply, and click Close. Then again, right after that, you have to restart the computer for you to know the effect or to take an effect for those changes that has been made to your computer. So, those are different ways on how are you going to share a specific folder to other computers. Now, how are we going to know if that particular computer has been shared already? So, you can see that under network already. So, what you need to do now is to go to the My Computer, or you can go to this PC, or you can search. Then, or you can go to the File Explorer or Windows Explorer. Then, scroll down. After scrolling down, look for Network. Click Network. After clicking Network, you will now be able to see those computers that is being connected to your computer. In my case, I only have one computer that is connected to my computer. But if you have two computers that is connected to your computer, you will be able to see their two computer name. So as for me, I only have one. So meaning to say, I successfully shared and networked my computer to the other computers. So those are the different ways on how are you going to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network operating system. So I hope you follow those steps and you've learned a lot. Bye everyone and see you in our next video lesson.